Hello guys, we'll talk about gratuitous ARP. The word gratuitous has so many meanings. The one that applies to this part of the series is the term uncalled for, unsolicited, or unwarranted. This is because this particular ARP message is sent by a host without being preceded by an ARP request message, as well is not intended to solicit a reply. Because of this, most ARP implementations find it logical for a gratuitous ARP message to be designed as an ARP reply message. However, the use of an ARP request structure is more preferred due to certain reasons. The gratuitous ARP message might be seen as unnecessary, but it is in fact a measure taken by devices on a network to inform other hosts of a sudden change in their ARP mapping. This is because, from the moment a host's IP address or MAC address changes, its ARP mapping present in the ARP cache tables of connected hosts may become invalid. Some useful applications of the gratuitous ARP message will be seen in this video. However, the concept remains the same. A gratuitous ARP message is generated as an ARP request message with the following parameter values. As seen here, the sender MAC address and sender protocol address for IP version 4 over Ethernet communications are the MAC address and IP address of the host interface sending this message. The target protocol address is also the protocol address of this host machine, and the target MAC address is a limited broadcast address. Some implementation of ARP use the all zeros MAC address value. In reality, the value in this field is irrelevant. Gratuitous ARP messages are then encapsulated in an Ethernet frame header to be broadcast on the link. Some useful scenarios of the gratuitous ARP message are 1. They are sent by a host to update the ARP mappings of other hosts on the network. Whenever the IP address or MAC address of a host's interface changes, it issues a gratuitous ARP message to update the ARP cache table of connected hosts, such as when the Ethernet hardware or network interface card is replaced on a device, a host IP address changes, or in a cluster scenario where a virtual machine migrates to a new physical machine, using the same IP address but now provides services via a different hardware on the new machine. This ensures service continuity and guarantees optimal network operation. Gratuitous ARP messages can also be used in gateway redundancy scenarios. This occurs when two devices either share the same IP address while using different MAC addresses, or both devices share an IP address as well as a MAC address. Based on this topology, Two routers are used as the default gateway of host A, B, and C. Each router interface has a unique MAC address, but they share the IP address 10.10.10.10, with router A being the primary gateway actively forwarding traffic to the Internet. When router A for some reason fails, router B takes over. To prevent the end stations from sending IP packets to router A's hardware based on the existing mapping, a gratuitous ARP message is broadcast by router B to inform all other hosts of the new mapping. The second topology describes a scenario where both routers share the same IP address and hardware address. The broadcast of a gratuitous ARP message for updating ARP entries does not apply here. It is only necessary to enable the switch itself updates its MAC address table to avoid forwarding data frames out the wrong port. The last application we'll talk about is the use of gratuitous ARP messages for announcement. When a host is connected to a network and the interface becomes active, it broadcasts a gratuitous ARP message. This is done by a host to proactively populate the ARP caches of other hosts on the network so they won't have to initiate the standard ARP process for obtaining those mappings. Aside this, 
They can also be used to monitor an interface for a change in status. When gratuitous ARP messages are sent more frequently, it may indicate a bad Ethernet hardware or broken network cabling. There are some literatures where the gratuitous ARP message is said to provide duplicate address detection. And this, although may seem so in some cases, is not exactly true. We'll do a comparison between the gratuitous ARP message and the ARP probe and ARP announcement messages in the next video. Until then, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.